not drink Hawaiian punch, and this is why. You take a hard-boiled egg, you soak it in a liquid and see if it stains it to see if it'll stain your teeth. And a lot of the liquids that you would expect to stain, like coffee, tea, pop, they stain the eggs. You can see those. But we tried Hawaiian punch. And look at this egg. Don't drink Hawaiian punch. If this is dissolving an egg, what is it doing inside of your body? I've had an egg sitting in Hawaiian punch for four days now. Let's take a look. It's definitely dyed red. Other than that, the shell is intact. The acid really hasn't eaten away much of it at all. So I made a video about this a few days ago, hypothesizing that it was the citric acid in the Hawaiian punch that was doing this to the egg. But it turns out maybe it's actually not even doing this to the egg. Well, the other part I was a little skeptical about is that there isn't really much citric acid in here. Citric acid is after vitamin C, and there's only 18 milligrams of vitamin C in an eight ounce serving of Hawaiian punch, which means that there's less than 18 milligrams of citric acid in eight ounces of Hawaiian punch, which really isn't that much. I showed in my video yesterday how this one that I had in three grams of citric acid really ate away at that eggshell. I explained more in that video how this happens as well. Obviously I didn't expect it to be this much because there's going to be a lot less citric acid in the Hawaiian punch. This is an egg that I had in one gram of citric acid in eight ounces of water. It was doing the same thing but to a much lesser extent. And again, in eight ounces of Hawaiian punch there's going to be less than 18 milligrams. So a lot less than even this one gram solution. So how did they get this? I have absolutely no idea because I'm not getting anything close to that. I got several bubbles to form on the surface because of the small amount of citric acid but there certainly wasn't enough to react with that much of the eggshell. So this is just another reminder that you can't believe everything that you see on social media. And even if this truly did just happen being soaked in Hawaiian punch, that doesn't mean that this is what happens to your body or to your teeth when you drink this specific beverage. Now this is still a really cool experiment to do. Write down your hypothesis, write down your observations every day, take pictures of your observations, and at the end you can try to figure out what happened. Parents, stop taking your kids science experiments that you clearly don't understand and posting videos on social media just to fearmonger about food or about specific ingredients.